everyone welcome back to my channel today for a wellness Wednesday I am going to be trying to do some laundry stripping so I have a lot of towels that just don't feel very clean as well as a bunch of workout clothes that I have so I'm going to give this a try I saw the recipe in a essential oil group that I'm a part of so I wanted to give it a try and I wanted to show you the process. We have well water. So sometimes it just doesn't get things as clean as I would like. So I think this will be a great thing to try. And hopefully my towels will be a little bit softer and my workout clothes will not be as smelly because I feel like it just kind of traps. <laughs> all the smell in there, even though I do wash our clothes on a regular basis. So here we go. Okay, I filled up the bathtub with super hot water. We just got a water, new water here last year. So we have nice hot water. So I'm going to make up the solution that you will need for this. So I have one cup of baking soda. I've seen people also use washing soda. I think you can get that at grocery stores. And then you will need one capful of fruit and thieves fruit and veggie soak. If you have not seen my video on the power of thieves fruit and veggie soak, I will post the link for it in the description. Actually dump this in here. Then you will need one tablespoon of Thieves Laundry Soap. We've been using this for almost three years now. Where is the, oh, there it is. So one tablespoon here. It's very concentrated, so it's very thick. I will be doing a series of videos in March talking more about the Thieves line from Young Living. Then you will need three capfuls of the Thieves Household Cleaner. And then you will need about 15 drops of Dijai's essential oil, just a blend of Let's see, make sure I get it right. Ginger, tarragon, juniper, peppermint, fennel, lemongrass, and patchouli. It's a mixture here. Okay. I'm just going to give this a little stir. And I will add it to my clothes and I will come back. Okay, the recipe says to let the clothes soak in here for four hours and then you are to stir it every hour. So I will come back every hour and show you the progress. Okay, it is now 11.03. An hour later, oh, gross. <laughs> Yuck. So I'm going to give this another stir and then I will be back in one hour. Okay, another hour has gone by and the water is still looking gross. It is moving back towards the back of the tub here and I guess I will be back in another hour to show you what it looks like. Okay, it's 104 now and it's still looking about the same but still gross. <laughs> I will come back in an hour to show you the last hour of the process. It 
It's 2.04 p.m. Four hours is up. I will be rinsing these and then I will be putting them in the washer and dryer and then I will come back and tell you what I think of the process. Okay, the clothes are done washing and drying. Oh, I love feeling fresh out of the dryer laundry. So it definitely, definitely doesn't smell. So that's good. It feels, feels good. And I smelled my workout clothes. I know that's weird, but <laughs> had to test it out and see if it actually smelled good. So it smells good to me. Um, I don't know if I would do this like all the time. I think it's kind of a every once in a while. I'm also going to be cleaning out my washing machine. Hopefully that'll sanitize it and hopefully clean out any gunk that might have been left in there. But tried something new. I hope that was helpful. I will post the recipe in the description so that you can give it a try. But comment below and don't forget to click that subscribe button and to turn on the notification bells for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.